Yo, what's going on guys? Bush back at it with another video here to go over some of the most anticipated and top Steam games coming out in May. Got a lot of big titles to go over. We've got 10 in total to go over in this video, so let's just get right into it. And this is not every game that's coming out on Steam in May. Obviously, there's going to be hundreds upon hundreds of games that probably could add another 10 compelling titles that are dropping their games, like Die by the Blade, uh, that are coming out next month that I won't be getting to in this video. But yeah, I'm sure I'll be mentioning a a lot of those games in future videos as well but let's get right into it because there's a lot of big stuff to go over now let's get started with what is without a doubt to me the biggest pc game release of may and it's a port of a playstation game but you know what i am so excited for it and i know so many of you are incredibly excited for it. and that is ghost of tsushima director's cut this has been one of the long awaited for playstation on pc games ever since this initiative started where playstation games were making their way over to pc Ghost of Tsushima has always been at the top of the list as far as games that people want. And remember, when this whole thing started back in August of 2020, I think it was, Ghost of Tsushima at that point had just come out. And at this point, four years into these games coming out, it's nice to finally get the game ported. Uh, it's been one that I think everybody knew that we were going to get at some point, given the amazing NVIDIA GeForce leak at this point. But now it'll finally be happening. It looks like Nixus is doing yet another phenomenal job with this PC port and I already completed this game on PlayStation 4 and 5 and it was fantastic on there I thought Jin uh, from a story standpoint was an incredible main character and seeing the entire story arc that he went through just absolutely compelling a lot of content visuals are stunning gameplay is great a lot of content as well and with the director's cut you're gonna be getting the Iki Island expansion if you've never played Ghost of Tsushima buckle up because this is going to be an absolute roller coaster of a ride it's a phenomenal phenomenal game and we probably will get a sequel to it at some point and i think that'll be announced later this year but for now on pc we can finally play ghost of tsushima along with the ek island expansion it's a fantastic game you guys are gonna have a kick-ass time with it and it finally drops on may 16th Next up, we have Hellblade 2 Senwa's Saga, another long-anticipated game here with Hellblade 2. This is a game that's been long looked forward to, and it does look to be a little bit of a step up from Hellblade 1, but at the same time, it is going to be a shorter game. It's not going to be this game that is going to be 20, 30, 40 hours long. Yes, it does have a $50 price tag attached to it, but it will be uh, a little bit shorter in length, which you know what? Given what Hellblade 1 is, I think that'll work for a game like this. The sequel to the award-winning Hellblade Senwa's Sacrifice, Senwa returns in a brutal journey of survival through the myth and torment of Viking Iceland, intent on saving those who have fallen victim to the horrors of tyranny. Senwa faces a battle of overcoming the darkness within and without. Long time coming for Hellblade, uh, Senwa Saga, Hellblade 2. Hellblade 1's been out for a very long time, and it really felt like Ninja Theory just went MIA for a long time. Seven years since Senwa's Sacrifice came out. Hopefully Senwa Saga does deliver, and hopefully Ninja Theory can get right back at it and deliver their next title a little bit quicker if it's a Hellblade 3. Hey, that'll be great, but for now, we have Hellblade 2 to be excited for. That will be dropping on May 21st. Next up, we have Little Kitty Big City. I foresee this game doing very well. It seems like Cats and Charming Games is a formula for success these days. I'm not saying it's going to be Stray, but I foresee it doing pretty well. You're a curious little kitty with a big personality on an adventure to find your way back home, explore the city, make new friends with stray animals, wear delightful hats, and leave more than a little chaos in your wake. After all, isn't that what cats do the best? Little Kitty Big City is one of those games that I foresee if you have a younger sibling, a kid, somebody younger that you're looking to get into video games. I feel like it's going to be a title a lot of people are going to gravitate towards, especially those that don't play video games much, so I think it'll do well on that end. Explore the city at your own pace in an open-world playground filled with surprises. Make friends with a colorful cast of chatty animals, complete quests, help your animal friends, or to cause a total ruckus. It's up to you. Customize your kitty with a plethora of very adorable hats and take a nap in the sunshine, and at the end of it, find a way home. Little Kitty Big City is due out on May 9th. Next up, Big Free Game finally coming back out. Was out for a little bit. Now it's seeing its re-release and that is of course Multiverses from Player First Games and Warner Brothers. Multiverses is a free-to-play platform fighter that brings the, the depth of iconic WB stars to life across the nearly endless possibilities of play. Now Multiverses had a lot of attention when it initially dropped. That attention obviously went away after a little while. You guys know the deal with live service games. Hard to maintain that level of interest but now 
now it's coming back out on May 28th after they continue to work on the game. And you've got quite the variety of characters. Choose from Bugs Bunny, Batman, Arya Stark, Rick Sanchez, and many more. In multiverses, every star brings their own unique moves, worlds, and attitudes to the fight. And as the roster expands, so does the spectacle with new personalities and playstyles turning up the heat in every battle. You've got a wide variety of maps. Maps such as Batman's Batcave, Jake and Finn's Tree Fort, Game of Thrones' Throne Room into epic battlegrounds they become. And the best part, they're going to be adding new maps regularly, so it constantly changes up. Modes, you'll get 1v1, Frenzy of 4-Player Mayhem, or Team Up for strategic 2v2 battles. All of that will be available with cross-platform play as well. Multiverses finally sees its official release on May 28th. Next up, we got Cards RPG, The Misty Battlefield. This game combines roguelike-style deck building with strategy RPGs to create an all-new experience. Follow Vel as she leads the battalion into battle. Collect 100 different cards to build the strongest deck and fight enemies on a map shrouded in mist. A marriage of a card game and a strategy title, roguelike deck builder. A lot of gameplay mechanics being implemented in the game. Looks like it has quite a lot of depth to its gameplay. We'll see how it turns out as Cards RPG, The Misty Battlefield will be dropping on May 22nd. Next up, we have Tokyo Psychodemic. 5% of murder cases are noted to be unsolved. It's time to open up these cases and confront the supernatural with forensic science. Solve cases by analyzing evidence and consulting with specialists in a real world that artfully blends 2D illustration and real-life visuals. A lot of mystery in the game and looks to be thematically a bit more mature. Use the resources at your disposal, such as images and surveillance footage, to perform a careful analysis and determine items, persons, and other points of interest. Be sure to review security camera footage thoroughly as it can allow you to gather specific details of victims' behavior at the moment of the incident and even review what happened before or after. Tokyo Psychodemic will be dropping on May the 30th. Next up, we have Crown Wars The Black Prince. The War of Crowns rages on. Knights and brigands run rampant throughout the land, sowing destruction from your castle base. Rise to become the Lord who leads the battle against the forces of evil in a turn-based tactics strategy game. Become the lord of your domain, form your class, or your seat of operations, recruit, equip, and train your soldiers to fight all those that threaten the kingdom, build squads according to the requirements of each mission, then set out to find the source of the evil and thwart the malevolent plans of the order in brutal turn-based combat. Your management and strategic skills will be put to the test. Manage your resources wisely to help your domain flourish and plan your squad excursions by choosing which missions to tackle. With the world on the brink of collapse, there can only be one solution. The order must be defeated. Fight darkness with sword and wit, the Hundred Years' War, revisit, ex explore 14th century France and the art of war. In that period, prevent the order from expanding its influence and restore your reputation, rebuild your domain and tactical combat in the purest tradition of the genre. Crown Wars The Black Prince will be out on May 23rd. Next up, here's a major release. One of the more iconic games of its era, Braid will be seeing a re-release with Braid Anniversary Edition, an upgraded release of Braid. Control the flow of time to solve puzzles in this new version of the indie classic, featuring fully repainted artwork that looks fantastic, mind you. A new world of puzzles and seriously in-depth commentary. Braid was one of those games that when it, when it came out caught a lot of people by surprise and was beloved uh, at the time. A game that some people have forgotten about, but man, I think if you play it's a game that stuck with you for quite a while, and now you are getting the anniversary edition as well. High resolution graphics, new sound effects, and extensive audio commentary manipulate time to move forward, rewind, pause, and use the strange properties of time in each world to run and jump through beautifully painted environments, a fresh coat of paint. This is the game you remember with all the original challenges and the same haunting evocative score, but repainted pixel by pixel so each carefully rendered world comes to life in high resolution. And go deep behind the scenes as well. It's got a lot of dev commentary, which I always find fascinating a lot of these anniversary edition director's cut releases do this over 15 hours of recorded insight and conversation from developer jonathan blow artist david hellman and more members of the braid creative team so that'll be in an interesting layer to check out as well braid anniversary edition drops on may 14th Next up, we have the narrative-driven title, and until then, a fateful meeting sets off a chain reaction upending Mark's life. People disappear and memories prove unreliable. Uncover a hidden truth with Mark and his friends in this narrative adventure and race to unravel the mystery before it's too late. Very much has a throwback art style, that pixel graphics look, and I know at this point, a lot of people are sick and tired of it. I am still a sucker for it, and I love how the game uh, looks. Explore themes of love, loss, and friendship. Invest 
investigate the setting throughout everyday technology, play addictively mundane mini games, immerse yourself in a cinematic visual experience, and experience a world inspired by Philippine locations and culture. Until then, is out on May 23rd. And lastly, Animal Well. Animal Well is a highly anticipated game. Explore a dead's interconnected labyrinth and unravel its many secrets. Collect items to manipulate your environment in surprising and meaningful ways. Encounter beautiful and unsettling creatures as you attempt to survive what lurks in the dark. There is more than what you see. Now, Metroidvanias is something that there are a lot of, and we get a lot of games like this. However, from a presentation st a standpoint and concept, I feel like this game is unique enough, and the fact it'll be a plus extra day one game, it'll entice a larger audience to check it out, at least in my opinion. You'll explore it and illuminate the dark, dense, atmospheric puzzle box world with tons of secrets, light candles for safety, and gradually fill out your map non-linear. Explore and collect items in whatever order you choose. Solve puzzles. Observation is rewarded. Enemies, environments, and items interact in surprising and systemic ways. All items have multiple uses. Learn how innocuous details can become meaningful. The main game is just the beginning. Players will discover hidden puzzles for years. I don't know. Um, I don't know about years, but we'll see how it turns out. Survive and tread carefully. Assess for yourself what is safe and dangerous. Focus on tension and surprise rather than action. And you are disempowered, but can make very clever use of your environment and items. Animal Well, it drops on May the 9th. And that is going to do it for me. Again, guys, a lot of great titles dropping on PC in the month of May. Ghost of Tsushima has to be my most anticipated, but a lot of great games with Hellblade 2. Multiverses, for those of you looking for a free, a free game, Braid Anniversary Edition is going to be big. Just a lot of big stuff to get into. But that's going to do it for me. Let me know what titles you're the most excited for in May. Let me know down below in the comments section. As always, guys, thanks for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. Hey, what's going on, guys? Mush here again. Hope you enjoyed the video. As you guys might know, YouTube's notification system is sometimes a little bit wonky, even if you're subscribed to the channel. Maybe you're not abundantly aware that I uploaded a video to remedy that situation. Make sure you hit the bell notification button. This way, whenever I upload a new video and I try to upload as consistently as possible, you will be notified directly of the upload and you can watch it as soon as it goes live. I would really appreciate if you guys hit that button so you can stay up to date with all of the the content I'm posting but as always guys thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one peace out